Welcome to my channel. Today I will be replacing my tie rod assembly on my 2014 Freightliner Cascadia. I sped the video up a little bit. I was having problems with my Carter keys. Bear with me, this is my first video. So, as you can see, I'm trying to get the cap car to key out of the tie rod in. It's probably the original tie rods, so the car to key is kind of rusted in the um, tie rod. trying to pick it out from the front one side has a little loop on it I was trying to get in there grab the loop pull it straight out but I guess it was rusted in there here yeah, so I spread a little loop get on there see if that worked nah it didn't work put some vice, vice grips on it tighten it up try to straighten it out hit it through that didn't work neither Still picking at it, picking at it. It would not budge. So I twisted it off, broke it off on both sides. Just so the 33 millimeter socket will fit on there. So I can get that boat off. Usually, people drill the hole through the tie rod where the car key is. But I have a impact impact gun, a extremely strong impact gun. So, and I knew I wasn't gonna use the tie rod again. So I just took it off. Your, if your impact gun isn't strong enough the nut might get jammed just might on the threads I kept trying and trying it didn't work really So let's put some air on it. And that hose is running from my emergency brake hose on the on the tractor. It took a couple of wax to get it off. It wasn't working, so I had to put some heat on it. Heat it up a little bit. Expand that metal. I didn't care about the boot. The boot on that was cracked anyway. So I gave it a few wax. As you can see, it just dropped a little bit. So I'm about to put put the impact socket back on there take the rest off it should drop down there you go now on to the next side I do apologize I did not know the sun was shining that bright in the wheel well so you really can't see me on this side really operate like that I do apologize for that but basically you do the same thing to this side as you did to the opposite side 
this cut key gave me a problem too. So I did the same thing, cut it off, put the bolt on there. I apologize. Put the socket on there. Put a little heat on there. Hit it. This side came off as well. I always try to try by hand the first time. If that doesn't work, I put some air to it. You seen it drop drop right there. Came off perfectly. Now I'm about to pull that out and measure it against the new tie rod assembly. I was counting the threads on both, trying to get as, as precise as possible. But that's kind of hard. The main thing you should just do, put it on, get it as close, get the tires as straight as possible on the semi truck and take it to get a wheel alignment. You have to get a wheel alignment. Because if you don't, you're gonna chew those tires up. Depending on how much you spent spent on them. From five to seven hundred dollars depending on what brand tire you have. I'm cleaning off the thread so I can count them on both sides. But I know it was going to be a little different. They're different, two different um, tie rod assemblies. So I tried, I put it in there. I was going to do the passenger side first. But then I realized, uh, I'm gonna do this side first. I'm gonna do the drive side first. Put it on there. Turn my semi truck on. Put some power to it. I didn't want to drag, drag it on the ground. So I put that little plastic box there set it on there went over there started the vehicle and just turned the tire as you can see it so i turned the tire the whole steering wheel the tire rod assembly moved closer to the tire so basically now all i gotta do is make some minor adjustments so it can fit in go right on I went to the other side to do a couple of adjustments to the tie rod.
I had to tighten it up a little bit so I could find the holes for the car key to go in. Slide them in. Bend the car key around so it doesn't slide out. And that the nut doesn't back off. Right now we're 80% done. So for that you can use a for that that is a 24 millimeter or a 15 16 socket so that's tight I did the other side I'm gonna take take you back over there do that side as well this is my first I'm about to get in there, start the vehicle, start the semi, turn the wheel, so I get in there. This side was a little, it was giving me problems. I couldn't get it tight by hand, so I had to put air on it to tighten it up. So that I can see see the hole for the car key for this side. As you can tell, this is a voiceover because my earpiece did not connect to my phone while I was doing it. So this is a voiceover. It wasn't down for it further enough, far enough, far enough. Sorry about that. So I had to put some put some air on it. So as you can see, it's in there. That's 24 millimeter right there. Uh, the big socket for the actual tie rod assembly, that, uh, that is a 33 millimeter socket, deep socket. So there you have it people. The tie rod assembly is on the semi truck. You're done. It took me an hour and 30 minutes. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.